Hey everybody, Steve Jamrock with Realty Executives Premier. Today I want to talk to you about the six most common mistakes home buyers make. Mistake number one, not getting pre-approved. I know I sound like a broken record when I say this, but not getting pre-approved is only going to set you up for two things. Number one, you're going to find your dream house only to find out you can't afford that property. And number two, you're going to find your dream house and somebody else is also going to find your dream house and they're going to put an offer in because they're pre-approved and get it accepted while you're still in the process of getting pre-approved. So again, can't stress it enough, put yourself in the best buying position possible, get pre-approved before you begin your home search. Mistake number two, not budgeting for out-of-pocket expenses that you need prior to closing. Sure. Everybody knows about you're going to need a down payment for the property, but a lot of people don't realize you're going to need money up front for earnest money deposit or your home inspection, appraisals. Talk to your agent. Find out what costs you're going to need prior to closing. Mistake number three, not knowing the market. Going out, looking at properties, and putting in an offer for 85% of the list price when every other house on the street is getting multiple offers. Know the market, know what's going on, put yourself in the best position to submit an offer. Mistake number four, using the home inspection as a renegotiation period. The home inspection is there for your protection. It's there to protect you against major defects to the property that will affect your, the future value of the home or your safety. If you're going to nitpick over a leaky faucet, a loose doorknob, or a loose light fixture, there's a good chance you're going to lose that deal. So make sure you're using a home inspection as a protection for you against major defects, not as a renegotiation period. Mistake number five, buying big ticket items prior to closing. Once you have an accepted offer on a property, you should become a nomad. You should live on rice and beans for the next 30 days without buying anything big. Don't go out and finance your new in-ground pool from the backyard. Don't go out and finance your bedroom set. Don't go out and finance that brand new car you want for the garage. Again, don't buy anything. It's going to ruin your credit score and your good chance you're going to lose that deal. Mistake number six, not budgeting for home maintenance after closing. You could have the best home inspection in the world. You could buy a brand new house it doesn't matter people stuff happens once you close on that property the toilets could back up the tree could fall in the backyard your lawnmower could stop working your garage door opener can go out all things that look great up front stuff happens so make sure you put yourself a little emergency fund off to the side for the home maintenance things that could happen after you close on the property so if you avoid these six common mistakes folks your home buying process is going to go much, much smoother. Steve Jamrock Realty Executives, 219-306-0333. Give me a call with any other questions. Have a great day.